and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of billing system develop using MySQL database. So let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to clear every system and supposing you want maybe three pints of milk or three cartons of milk, of milk and maybe coffee, latte and so on. All you just need to do is to click on total. You can check that out on the receipt here. And let's check out the database as well. There we go. Look at that. All right. There. And you can even print it out. Let's hit the print button. And if you want, you can also sum up everything yourself in here and so on so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys straight into c sharp development environment and we put one of these very advanced tutorials together so let's do that now guys hi and welcome to c sharp tutorial of a billing system using my sql i'm going to start by clicking on create new project and we then select c sharp Windows Forms application.net. Let's click on next. And right here, I'm going to give the project a name. Let's call it CS underscore billing system underscore my SQL. There we go. So I'm going to click on create. There we go guys. My development environment is ready. Now I'm going to select the properties. And right in here, let's define the size. So I'm going to make that 1,386 by. Let's go for 720. There we go now the next thing is let's go straight to the toolbox here and we just need to add a panel let's see if we can get hold of one should be here somewhere right there okay let's go to the properties here and this panel i'm going to select border style let's just change that to fix 3d there we go you guys might not be able to see what's happening that much okay let's drag it right down there we go something like that now the next thing that i want to do is i'm going to come right into the toolbox again i now need the tab control let's see if we can get hold of that there we go that's it right there tab control so drag the tab control just peg it right there and drag it right down repeat exactly the same thing all right looking good okay now the next thing is each tab I'm gonna give them a name let's go straight to the properties here and that is the tab page and the very first one that would be for the let's say item something like that so let's look for the name that is the variable name I just need the text name there we go that is it right there so I'm just going to call that items and here the next one that would be for my data okay so let's call that um, bills or data, data bills there we go that's good enough now the next thing we want to do is I think I should change the background of this 
so instead of transparent I'm gonna kind of like change it to let's go for control that's the default color and the border style yeah make that fix 3d as well so that's the first one there's the second one repeat the same thing for the second one let's see the second one change that to control and border style fix 3d as well okay that's fine all right i'm happy with that now the next thing i want to do is inside the items here i'm going to add another panel this panel just repeat exactly the same thing border style fix 3d and right inside this very panel i'm going to add number up and down i think that's what it's called there we go it's called numeric up and down it's been a long time that i play around with something like this so i'm going to change the the fonts let's make that about uh, just do something readable let's make it about 20 there we go 20 and in there i'm also going to need some labels bring this here grab a label and this label let's change that to 20 as well there okay looking good so far okay i'm going to just copy this across and i'm going to need maybe about six yeah we have four now and we have another two more there we go that's it that's fine uh maybe i should copy this again copy i will need that right here but i wouldn't need this i will not need this one get rid of that i think i'm going to add a calculator so that the end user can just check the price at their own convenience all right bring this one here looking good so far this form itself i'm going to select the form i want to change the position start position click on that instead of the default let's get it centered so if i click around let's see how that's going to look like there so far it's looking good all right and that the next thing that we want to do now is each of these labels let's give them a name so maybe this very first one i'm going to call that maybe milk something like that yeah and maybe coffee here can always change it around and it's next one here I'm just gonna call that maybe espresso and we can just call this latte something like that and the other two we can just call this maybe bread or something that's a bread and in here Let's go for beans or whatever. That's it. All done. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do now is I'm going to change this. Maybe I just can delete all of these. You see this very label here. I'm going to change the appearance of that very label. Let's come to auto size here and change that to force the back color I'm going to change it to white select control uh, custom white and where we have border style I'm going to change the border style to fix 3d and it will actually look like a text box there we go and let's also get a center align center and get rid of any whatever we have in there or 
let's just say give it a default value of 0 0.3 there now I'm going to copy it across and at the same time they will have a name okay copy we have two four and six there all right looking good so let's run it and see how that's going to look like that's how it's looking right now guys though we still on it so let's continue let's see here okay so exit out okay i'm going to add sort something like a title here so that's going to be just items let's come down here let's say items and here let's copy hold on to your control just click and drag and here i'm just going to call that maybe number of items something like that number of items okay that will do all right so let's come at the center it there and here i'm going to delete all of these i don't think i have any need for that now i'm going to enter a text box i can also use label but i will set it for a text box and buttons uh, let's grab a button first let's bang a button here and right here you can see a text box grab that and draw that here that is going to be for my display all right move this up a little bit something like that and for both components i'm going to kind of like increase the font size let's make it about 20 as well there we go right and let's do one thing first let's come in here you see this one i'm just going to kind of like align the whole component there let's get it centered yep centered um, what else do i need to do right let's give them a name even this one is going to be called number n N U D milk, right? N U D milk. Uh, let's make this lowercase. N U D milk. And here, that's going to be price anyway. So we can call that uh, L B L milk. there this is NUD coffee and this other one here is going to be LBL coffee we have NUD espresso so I guess you guys get the whole idea so just name it according to the labels and for this very label that should be that latte should be uppercase L all right I'll do that again and now I'm just gonna speed that up that'll be N U D latte and you the latte okay let's select these two headings i'm just going to increase the font size a little bit so that it can stand out and let's get it on the line as well all right that's cool now let's take care of this calculator thing here and this is going to be my display so we can call that 
txt display so that's the variable name for the display and I'm also going to kind of like select this small rectangle that you guys are looking at here and just make it multi-line then I'm in the position to just adjust how I want now for the buttons click and drag hold on to the control just click and drag so we have about okay let's make it four by four on each side yeah that is fine but I'm gonna need let's increase the button size let's come in and see that's okay maybe I should set to for maybe 80 by 80 and let's see how that's gonna look like then we take it from there there we go all right so the spacing can be a little bit even all right i'll take care of that okay so let's add more buttons there i'm gonna need about 20 in total so we need four more down here and another four now we need one more okay select this panel and just bring it down there we go right there okay that's good now here underneath here i'm just going to add another panel let's grab it right there there and i'm also going to let's see where is that border style make that fix 3d as well looking good so far okay let me drag it down a little bit i'm going to add some buttons in there and some buttons and text box yeah so that would be for text box and buttons there all right okay let's add some buttons here so i'm going to copy this hold on to the control just click and drag and reduce that there we go and just kind of move it this way take it up a little bit i may have to even add a bit of color to this form or maybe to this very yeah panel one let's come down here and just see something to make it a little bit darker okay so i can see it properly all right so grab this variable button i'm gonna need about maybe four or five we need one two three maybe about five okay we have two here all right we have four and we're gonna need one more so i may have to reduce the width okay this one is going to be known as btn exit this is going to be btn btn let's say reset bt okay let's change the data on it as well there and the data on this is going to be exit then this is going to be print yeah there's no printer on my system but at least i'll show you guys how to let's create your own print there we go and we need two more put this one here i'm going to reduce this and just kind of like sort it out later on okay this one will be btn reset reset ok 
Okay, I think I might have to, because I received a message from one of my viewers would like one in uh, C++, another one is saying in uh, Visual Basic, hopefully. I might be able to do that as time goes on. That's total. And this is going to be known as BTN total. BTN total. There we go. Now you see all of those buttons. Let's let's see. Okay, that is the width. Maybe if I set all of the width 140, that might work better. So let's come in here and change this to 140. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing for all and get back to you guys shortly. Okay, that's looking good. And what I'm going to do underneath here, I'm going to add two labels. One is going to be here and the other one is going to be here. So this is going to be for the total number of item that is selected here and the next one is going to be for the cost of item all right looking good so far so get rid of that oh, I can leave that and I'm just gonna call that LBL cost okay that's cool and here that will be maybe total cost Come right down here. Total cost. And bring this down here. Uh, that would be number of items. So get rid of that. And that would be LBL number of items. And this is going to be number of items. There we go. No. That should that's wrong. I was meant to type that underneath here. Okay, we can just grab this anyway and just copy and paste it in there. Oh look at it. Number of if number of items grab that and just paste that in there all right that takes care of that there we go and we use this as well yeah okay let's run it and see how that looks like okay it's coming up yeah, it's looking pretty look at that guys and let's take care of the design of this calculator then we know the design is all done so here now let's start with this and that is going to be seven seven just once one is selected yet the rest you can just click and just enter value eight nine that will be plus subtract six five four one two three zero and we have a full stop here and this will be equals this we can call that division multiplication this was meant to be six and this is meant to be five and here that's going to be C E and this is C this will be backspace so let me copy backspace in here so go to word select insert inside insert now select symbol and select more symbol what you need is uh, wingings so drop that down and let's just grab hold of it that is it right there select backspace and i'm going to copy plus minus as well close that i'm going to copy the backspace paste that in here 
now you have to change the fonts to wingings and w wingings there we go and the next one is backspace and that'll be all i don't have any need for this document anymore don't save and go back in here select that and come right underneath here paste and that's plus minus that's fine all done now we need to give each button a name so the name of this one is going to be btn backspace i'm just going to call it bs and this is btn btnce and the next one is going to be btnc followed by btn plus minus so pn btn7 so i guess you guys get the whole idea so i'm going to speed up the naming of of each button so that's btn8 so see you guys shortly and that's it all the namings are taken care of now finally let's go into the data bill see here I'm going to add data grid view. Let's see. There we go. That's it. Let's click and drag. So when you click on the receipt, you find your data grid view, all the information here, and the receipt will be somewhere here. Maybe we should add the receipt as well. Come in here. Let's add um, what is that called? Which text box? Okay. Grab that and just dump it right there. So this will show you. All the information about the purchase will be in here. So, and in here will be the just something to store every single data we have in there. That's fine. All right, that's good. And bring this down. This will be for the receipt. An itemized bill, or whatever you want to call it. All right so let's go back in there i'm going to run it now let's go to item or item is called click on run and it's coming up there we go look at that that looks pretty yeah i like that okay so this is the data bill and or well, maybe item bills yeah, item bills. Yeah, we're gonna call or whatever. That's fine anyway. So guys, um, I'm just gonna call it the end of the first part of this uh, tutorial, which is about the design of the interface. I'll see you guys shortly.